hey guys i'm rachel welcome back to my channel thank you so much for watching please subscribe and hit that little bell so that you get notified every time i upload a video while you're at it give it a little thumbs up and share it with somebody who might like it and i hope you will stay to the end so today i'm just doing a quick makeup look for all my busy hustlers female hustlers out there um i wanted to talk a little bit so i don't know if i will but um yeah so this is just more focused on just really really simple and quick like again this is my routine so this is what i like to use you can do your version but i just wanted to come on here anyway so i'm starting off with this elf jelly pop dupe primer and i'm gonna prime my skin with this it's something similar to my favorite milk hydro grip primer it dries to a nice tacky feel too as you can see all right so i'm gonna use my maybelline dream you know, these names are so long maybelline dream oven cover full coverage protective makeup sunscreen broad spectrum spf 50 plus antioxidants and rich pollutant protection this right here i spoke about it in my favorites it's one of my favorite foundations and i'm also going to mix it in with the smashbox full coverage this this here makes everything better i love it for mixing in my products I've just been loving applying my foundation with this brush. It's like a, it's one of my favorite brushes. I always speak about it. I will link it in the description box. I buy it off Amazon. It's only ten dollars. I just love this brush so much. And I pounce it into my skin. Do you see the coverage on this? Ooh, it's so pretty. I should have did my edges. Anyway, you guys see this makeup? No makeup. Makeup? No makeup. So this brush, using this brush, I hardly get any brush strokes, but I still like going over with my beauty sponge to just pick up any excess product and give me a nice smooth finish. I don't know if you guys know that I am a nail technician and I am a makeup artist. I do take clients. I will leave all the links of how to book me and my social media in the description box. So follow me and come and see my work and book me. So initially, I wanted to come on here and speak about like how it is. I did I take the wrong one? I did use. <gasps> I took the wrong concealer today. Anyway, we using it. <laughs> I wanna come on here and speak about. By the way, I'm using the NYX Can't Stop Wounds of Concealer. I really want to touch on like how it is I, you know, manage a small business, growing my small business and still doing YouTube. And I kind of went against it. I feel like probably much of you guys wouldn't be interested in it, but it's not just about um, for me. It could be for anyone who is running a business and still um, probably you're going to school as well and you have work or you probably just have two jobs this could be um good for you as well so be that you're running a small business or that you work in two jobs or that you're going to school um bettering yourself getting more education trying to make more money all the way good for you this could be um good for you as well like i just feel like whatever it is you choose to do with your life whatever path you're going that you should just always be realistic with yourself that's the first thing i feel like always be realistic with yourself know what you're capable of know that you are willing to make the sacrifices it takes to get to where you want to get like for me i'm managing youtube and i'm trying to grow a small business and i'm trying to stay consistent so i have to be realistic with myself i have to know that i have to sacrifice certain things in my life like for example i have to prioritize you have to always prioritize what it is you going to do and then we come again you have to sacrifice so for example what if i want to upload a video and i'm not done editing and i'm doing everything by myself and my friend invites me to go out for drinks and i know i want to upload that video tomorrow and i have a little bit of time left what am i going to do so that's where prioritizing and sacrificing comes in like, am i going to go to drinks with my friend am i gonna stay home and edit that vi and that video or if i go to drinks with my friend 
do I wake up early in the morning and edit the video, complete the video, or do I, when I come from drinks with my friends, stay up and edit the video loosely? So it's always about finding balance in whatever it is you're doing whenever you're doing it. And I just applied the Morphe um, concealer. This video feels like it's all about the place today. Prioritizing and figuring out what's important to you is very important whenever you choose to end back on anything that you choose to do. And like moving a little bit on the point is like making use of your mornings and your nights. Like I am not a morning person, so I'm definitely, it's very difficult for me to wake like extremely early. I am more of a night person, so I tend to make use of my nights and I sleep later in the morning. But if you're a morning person, you can wake earlier and get stuff done so that you know you know you go to bed early and it comes back again to being realistic with yourself like know your reality know what it is your life entails and how it is you can fit it into whatever side hustle or whatever it is that you choose to do smoothly um another thing i feel like works well whenever you're trying to like juggle anything in life is like to know your ideas be it youtube or whatever it is you know you have to write stuff down i feel like something about writing stuff down makes it it's almost like manifest manifestation like putting it into the universe so it's like it's gonna happen not just on your phone like i'm a person who writes stuff down in my notebooks i have a couple of notebooks where i write my ideas down i plan everything so like time management planning scheduling stuff it's it's very important to me I feel like having routines also is like important like routines and scheduling time management writing stuff down they all sort of go hand in hand and this year my whole thing is system over goals like everything works together for the better I'm taking some of my my um sephora micro smooth powder another product i spoke about in my favorites of 2019 check that video out if you haven't i'm gonna add a little contour and i'm using my black radiant palette you guys see how this palette is loved it is so loved another thing is like asking for help when you need it like it's good to have reliable friends and people in your life so whenever you need help that these people can be there for you and vice versa it does make things easier like being able to have good friends and people around you that you can they can help you and they can help they, you can um that they can help you and they can delegate stuff to them to help make the process easier for you so it's always good to have good realistic people around you that whenever it is you need help you can ask for help and know that it's guaranteed like you don't want to like for example i'm doing youtube i don't want to be asking my friend to do something for me because i'm moving back to the point of where i'm organizing and i'm planning and this friend is not reliable it's just going to throw everything off for me so i need real re reliable people around me people who will encourage you and stay positive and just always be there for you you need to see find these people cipher them out and keep them close to you like this 2020 we have to like learn to work smarter sometimes and try not to work so hard like work smarter so like just having knowing that you have reliable people around you could make that journey easier for you I'm reaching for my BH Cosmetics blush palette in nude blush. I'm gonna grab a couple of shades in here to blush, blush up the cheeks. So if you're someone like me who's doing two jobs, let's say for example you're growing, trying to grow a business, or you're someone who is going to school and working, or you have two jobs, three things you have to remember, and these are things I, I implement in my life: is batching, bucketing, bridging, and I'll explain what that means. There must be some things, things that you do in your life that you can do together, that you can do on in one day, in a couple of hours in a day, like maybe cleaning, laundry, schoolwork, um, things that you need to do to manage your small business, be it editing pictures, posting, creating folders with stuff that it's done in one sitting you sit and you get that done so you have your work already laid out and planned for the week you don't want to be doing laundry every day or just sporadically like have things 
that you can do in batches. So if you know um, you're someone who works five days a week or you have a day off or however it is, and it goes back to my point of being realistic with yourself, you know on those days when you're off, other days are you gonna do what you need to get done. So that's what batching is, it's like doing most of what you can do in one sitting, one day, a couple of hours a day. Like for example, if you're on a health kick, maybe on Sundays you're gonna batch your meal prep and batch your cooking so that you have a couple of days ahead and package those and place them in the fridge so that you have it for the week ahead. So you, you, you learn to save time and manage your time better and, and wiser. That's what, what um, batching is. I hope you understand. So for me, I'm doing YouTube. So when I sit down, I try to get two videos done in one sitting. So I'm always ahead. And that was how I stayed consistent for the while doing um, two videos in one sitting. And if you guys notice, I used to upload two videos a week, but me being realistic with myself, I'm like, no, I'm not at a point in my life where I feel like I can do two videos a week. I will not be consistent. Now, if there's a time when I could do it, I will, but I cut down to one video a week because I'm pretty sure with that I can be consistent. So I'm being realistic with myself and I'm sitting and I'm able to do two videos in a sit and I'm off on Mondays. So on Mondays is my day when I will sit and do my batching. I would do whatever it is I need to do to prep myself for the week ahead, be it personal hygiene, pamper routine. If that's the day, once a month on Monday, I do my laundry and things like that. So batching is very important in just helping to manage your lifestyle. And that, that can go for anybody, whether or not you're running a business and work and, and maybe whether, whether or not you have two jobs, you go to school and have a job, whatever it is, that is a field could work really well for anybody in their life. Um, to help in time management and being more effective and efficient in producing good work and producing a better you. Bridging for me is like having a middleman. Um, if you're running a small business, you probably have a team or you probably have someone there that can help to make your work easier for you. So for example, um, maybe you have someone who can help answer your emails and if it's of extreme importance then it comes to you but you don't directly have to be there answering your emails or like me for example i'm trying to grow my social media and stuff like that i have an intern there's someone that helps me with posting and, and staying active and working with the algorithm on on instagram and if um she feels like there's something that she does not know that i need to personally respond to she will come to me and say call or say something and I would attend to that. So that's what bridging is. So I just applied a coat of mascara because I am going to do lashes because this look I'm just focusing on a little blush and stuff on my cheeks so I'm going to do some lashes. I haven't done lashes in a while. So although the look is basic, the lashes is just going to take it to a little, just a little level. And for my lashes I'm going to use my Kiss number no. 9 lashes. I spoke about these again in my favorites. I love them. Again, I know I feel I feel like I'm all over the place with this video, but I hope you get the point of the video if you if you made it this thus far. I sped it up a little because I wanted you to see the process. Like, trust me, lashes are not the easiest thing to do. So if you're someone who's struggling with lashes, just keep at it and you're going to get it. I feel like that's one of the complaints I hear the most. Like you don't know how to get your lashes to stay, but you just saw what I went through. See, the lashes just brought something to the look, although it's very basic. It's just like, mm. so that's why I, I like lashes sometimes. Like for times like these are just... Like I said, take your look to another level. Just adding a little nose highlight. This just makes your nose look extremely straight, as you can see. It made me look like I had a nose job. And that's a little bit in the inner corner as well. I'm using the Wet and Wild Highlight Powder in Golden Flower Crown. Right here. This is my a, a new addition to my collection. It's not my favorite, but it's okay. I feel like I have better highlighters, but it's okay. It gets the job done. 
so yes yeah, so i definitely just wanted to just come here and just probably just throw that out there and i oh my god i know you know it's it's difficult to do a lot of stuff and to stay consistent and to stay like motivated but you just gotta keep at it i hope this video would have helped someone out there and of course it's always good to increase your knowledge like, I'm, like I said, I'm listening to audibles. I do a lot of research on anything. I listen to other people's testimonials. I, I try to learn from other people as well. So I just lined my lip with <laughs> MAC Plum Lip Liner. Do you see this? This is to be one of my favorite lip liners of all time. I just, it was just replaced with um, ColourPop, <laughs> but I still love it. So I thought I'd bust it out today. And I'm using my BH Cosmetics and it's my Ray Ray lipstick, liquid lipstick in, oh my God. The rosy ray. I'm gonna add a little bit of this on my lips. Mm, so pretty. And I'm gonna just go over with a little bit of my Patrita lip gloss. In do you, okay, now let's, let's let's just have a moment. Do you see this? Oh my! Mm -mm. Do you see this? Oh my God! This is so satisfying. This lip gloss is the bomb. Patrick Ta is she younger than me? I love it. It's such a beautiful gloss. Do you see the shine on my lips? Oh. Like I said, I feel like we all need balance. With whatever it is we're doing in life, like balance is like so important. And as I'm getting older, I'm realizing how much you need to add balance to your life. So I hope this video was informative. Like probably you learned something from it. Maybe you found something you can implement in the way you're doing stuff. And to just remember to just always stay positive, stay motivated. And let's have to motivate each other in our future endeavors. And as women, we already have so much against us. Let's just try to just uplift each other here and spread love and positivity. Comment in the description box if you have any motivation or if you agree with some of what I say or if you already do some of what I say, what I, what I spoke about here on my channel. So thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, share it with someone you think might like it. All the links to my social media will be in the description box on how to book me. I am a nail tech and a makeup artist, so check out my work and I'll see you in my next video next week. Bye guys.